Hello, my fellow Pisces. I hope you're doing amazing today. Thank you for being here. Let's get right into your reading. Pisces, if you are here, you're meant to be quiet snap today. Okay. <laughs> anyway, Pisces, who am I connecting with today? What do you need to know? Let's go. Okay, first card, we have boundaries, number 26. So maybe you need to set some boundaries with someone. Hmm. We have growth here at the bottom, number 15. Or maybe you need to step outside of your boundaries. There we go. Get outside of your comfort zone. What's under growth? Healer, number 32, because you are a healer. You need to step outside your comfort zone because there's something you have to offer, you know, the world, you know, your community, people around you. Because you, I'm hearing a light worker. And you have some kind of gifts here and it's like, you know, you're you're staying in your comfort zone. You're, you're keeping yourself in a box because you don't know what you're capable of and how you can help others, you know, or just, or yourself, you know, <laughs> by simply stepping outside of your comfort zone, you know, pushing the limits here as if there are limits. I mean, <laughs> so I'm going to get an angel message here for you. We have... Your life, oh, your life is about to start moving quickly. Okay. Um, I don't know why I had such a reaction. Oh, <laughs> put on the dramatics. No. <laughs> anyway, your life is about to start moving quickly in some areas. Events that seem to have been on hold sun suddenly propel forward. Move with the flow and be mindful of what needs your attention most. Make decisions rationally, but sensibly. Okay. Things are about to start moving. You know, that could be where that growth comes in. And this is probably why this boundaries card is here. You know, it may be time to step outside of your comfort zone because you may have no choice. You know, with that healer card, you may be forced to get outside of your comfort zone in order to step into who you really are as this light worker. I mean, if you don't really feel like you're a light worker, I mean, it could be any area in your life, you know, that job that you really want or that relationship that you really want. So let's see. But there is, you know, this uh, growth that is about to happen. Things are about to start moving quickly. So things that felt like they were on hold are no longer going to be on hold. And again, get go with the flow. Don't hold back. Because in the end, that's just stunting your growth. That's just keeping you in a loop that you're in now that you're probably sick and tired of. <laughs> so it's time to step outside of that. And it looks like, like I said, did I say this already? It looks like you may not have any choice, really. These things are going to start flying at you. But anyway, I want to look at where you are right now. Oh, we had this four of pentacles holding back. Yeah. No more of that. That's not allowed, Pisces. Don't hold back. No filters allowed. <laughs> say what you got to say. Do what you got to do. Don't get yourself in jail or anything, though, okay? <laughs> okay, what else we have? We have the Page of Cups. We have the Devil. Capricorn Energy. And we have the Ace of Swords. So it's a matter of the mind here. We have the, the world here at the bottom. So for some of you, this is just, you know, very specific. But for some of you, maybe you want to do something online. Uh, maybe you want to start your own tarot channel. But we have the Ten of Cups underneath that. We have the Ten of Wands. So an ending and a beginning. I mean, 10-10, ten, ten, that's an ending and a beginning. And the world is all about new cycles. Thinking bigger. You know, go back and watch my last Pisces reading. And we have the Ten of Swords, and something is over, I'm telling you. It's time to level up, whether you want to or not. <laughs> and I'm sure you want to, right? You're not You're not scared. We're not scared here at Banana Chips Tarot. Bring it on, motherfucker. <laughs> we also have Seven of Wands. I mean, you're protected. This is you. This is for you. This is all about your growth, leveling up, because you have shit to do in this life. Healer, light worker. And look at what's at the bottom. We have the full... We have a full moon and a new moon, an ending and a beginning. Holy shit, everything that I was just saying. It's all right there. Okay, but anyway, let's get to you here. <laughs> I just, sometimes I just start getting carried away. All right, but um, holding back. This devil energy with this page of cups, you know, the page of cups 
can be a surprise. And something that's standing out to me is the, the pig flying in the corner here. I feel like the devil energy in this circumstance is you convincing yourself that, oh, well, when pigs fly, I'll be able to accomplish this. That's the devil energy there. Doubting yourself, holding yourself back, staying in that four of pentacles. You have something to share and give the world. Don't stay in that devil energy and, you know, not bring your light to the table here. You know, you're unique. You're special. You're amazing. You're here for a reason. I promise you that. Let that reason shine, whatever it is. It's obviously different for everybody. All right. But look at this Ace of Swords. Notice the staircase on her head. <laughs> yeah, on her head. <laughs> it's a spiral staircase. It's like every step is getting you there. Look familiar? Spiral. It's all leading you somewhere. It's just a matter of breaking free of this devil energy, this energy of holding back, thinking you're not worthy, thinking, you know, you're not good enough, thinking that it's scary whenever you, you get outside your comfort zone, you push past those boundaries that you've trapped yourself in for your whole entire life. That's got to go. That No more of that because you have a purpose. You have things going for you. It's time to shine. Okay. Which deck do I want to use next? I want to use this deck here to see what the obstacle might be. Any obstacles, anything that might be getting in your way, anything you might need to know. Okay, this one's kind of difficult to shuffle. The edges are pretty though, look at that red. <laughs> I feel like I gotta sneeze. Okay, so first card, we've got ambition. This card is cool because it has like double meanings. I'm not even going to attempt to to name the names on here because, you know, we already know I have a hard enough talking, but I'll I'll hold it up, you can read it if you want. <laughs> but it's ambition number 6. We have cruelty. Number 39. We have catastrophe and haste 28. Okay, what else? We have patience, number seven. So we have motivation here at the bottom. I feel like, again, things are about to change quickly. It's going to motivate you, push you through a possibly a very dark period in your life. You know, possible cruel people that have sent you into some catastrophe emotionally. And it's kind of halted your ambition here. Hmm. I want to see what's under motivation. We have solitude, keeping yourself in that box. We have creation of all things. You have so much power in you. And what's sad here in this energy, an obstacle that I'm picking up is the people around you or maybe a specific person around you. They... I mean, maybe they were just straight up cruel. I don't know, but they're... It seems like the obstacle in your life has been people. And what's ironic is that, you know, for somebody... This is very specific, may not be for everybody, but for somebody here, your obstacle has been people who have hurt you in your life and have kind of kept you in a, a box where you're, you know, you keep yourself in a cage to keep yourself from getting hurt again, which, you know, I understand, no judgment. But ironically is, you know, with that healer card, the light worker card, your purpose is also somewhere, or so, something about um, helping people, healing people. So it's almost like people had to hurt you so you could understand how, what that, what that like truly means on the other side to better help people who have been through, you know, similar things to what you've been through. Does that make sense? I feel like I'm kind of falling all over my words here. Sometimes whenever I'm channeling, the words just kind of come out and it's kind of a disconnect from my brain. It's so hard to describe. It's kind of weird, but, <laughs> but, um, with this patience card, I feel like, you know, if you're resonating with this, where you've been hurt, heartbroken, or just, you know, felt like you're at the bottom of the bottom in whatever area of life that you've been in. There's patience needed here to understand why you had to go through that because you're probably an older soul 
somebody who could take a hit. And this world needs that, that strength. And you're, I feel like you had to go through certain things so that you could help people who have been through similar things, you know, whatever area that is. I mean, that could be a million different things like, you know, uh, losing a job and like, you know, having a very insta uh, inst unstable uh, financial situation or a horrible person that treated you like shit. Um, I just feel like you kind of use this energy and kind of transmute it into like a healing energy. And because you're so powerful, because you're an older soul, I just feel like your time is coming where you're kind of being initiated into that. <laughs> so you may, like I said, going back to this very first card, well, the second card, you may find that things start kicking up and it might get a little stressful. It's forcing you to get outside of your comfort zone because your time is coming where you need to start using your gifts here because you have a purpose here. Something's coming to an end so that you can have this new beginning. And I feel like there's a message here of healing through helping others and whatever this gift is or this path is. And if it's not necessarily like, you know, helping others, like, I don't know, being a light worker, healer, energy healer or something like that. If it's not necessarily that, it could just be something about your ener energy in general. Um, kind of helping the people around you in some way. I don't know, just like you, you push out some kind of healing energy, the more you upgrade and heal. Sounds a little out there, but you know, it is what it is, is what I, I'm picking up on. Um, but with this patience card, I keep looking at this patience card. It's, it's about realizing that there is a, a meaning behind everything you've been through. And you're coming to that point either now or very soon. And it's going to mean something whenever you, you encounter these changes. Whatever you've been through is very important to what's coming in. Maybe it pushes you to realize how strong you are, what you like, uh, what you're capable of. Maybe it pushes you down a path that you never saw yourself going on and you realize what your purpose is. Because I feel like there's a total closing out of something here. You know, again, all those tens, the full moon, the new moon, there's a completion and a new beginning. It's almost like a, a rising from the dead kind of energy. And you may have even felt like that with this energy here that you've brought to like the depths of hell in some way. And you're being pulled out of that. It's like a butterfly breaking free from the cocoon. But I feel like you're being, I don't, I want to say, I feel like you're being asked <laughs> to uh, step up, but I don't know if you have any choice because I feel like it's part of your, your calling here. And things are spiraling <laughs> in your favor. But I feel like if you don't accept this, it could kind of spiral out of control. And by that, it could lead to like a tower moment where things are like forced out of your life. And that's something I kind of say in my a lot of my readings. Sometimes tower moments, you know, they seem chaotic and like everything's like happening to you because the universe hates you. But it's really a clearing out because you've outgrown a certain thing in your life or a certain situation. But I feel like this is kind of a similar energy here, but I feel like it's more like spiraling upward, you know, <laughs> kind of like the, whoops, kind of like the spiral staircase. It's just a matter of not holding on to your gifts anymore because you have something in you that, that wants to come out, you know, some kind of healing, some kind of light, you know. Again, well, where to go? <laughs> the healer card. You have some kind of healing project. I don't know why I want to say project. So it makes me think, you know, maybe some kind of soul contract that you agreed to before you incarnated here. There's some kind of project. I don't know, maybe that's for somebody. But definitely like light worker kind of energy here. You being pushed into it after a period or after a time in your life where 
Maybe you felt like you had no purpose. Maybe you felt like you went through all these terrible things for no reason, but I, I'm here to tell you it's for a reason and you're going to go on and you're going to do amazing things either on a worldwide scale or in your community or maybe your best friend or your family members or something like that. But I feel like you're capable of greatness and I feel like you're about to find that out. As long as you don't let this devil energy hold you back. You know, that devil energy that tells you, oh, it's impossible. I'm worthless. I'm not here for any reason. Fuck that shit. You're here for a reason. And you're about to be reminded of why. You know, things are coming in quick. Okay, so. Anything else? Can't grab the cards. Oh, because I have them backwards. <laughs> we have judgment. Awakening. We have the world again. Your time has come. We have the Ten of Swords. It's weird I'm getting like similar cards. And you know, I, you see how I, I pick? I just kind of pick intuitively. We do have the Ace of Pentacles here at the bottom. We have the Knight of Cups. I'll get one more. We have the Ten of Swords. The time has come. Judgment. You're about to be full on awakened to why you're here. <clears throat> And I can see the Ten of Swords, Ten of Wands, something is over and you're you're being led somewhere new. And it's a matter of following your heart and don't listen to that devil energy. This devil energy could even be somebody around you, um, somebody who tries to hold you back in whatever way that means for you, whoever resonates with that. But there's a higher calling here for you. With that world card, it's just, I get a lot of power off that world card. Like, the, you have so much power trapped inside of you. It's time to release that because I feel like you could do so much good in the world, in your life, by just releasing that. And if it's not, again, if it's not necessarily that you want to be like a healer, a light worker, or whatever, it could be you leveling up, you pushing outside of your boundaries, your comfort zone, and leveling up in your career, you know? In whatever area of your life that you want. I feel like all this change start, change starts with you. All these things coming at you and you deciding to jump on them, not hold yourself back. Okay? Because this card says your life is about to start moving quickly in some areas. Events that seem to have been on hold suddenly propel forward. But you, you have to have the courage to, you know, go with it. Go with the flow, right? It even says that. Move with the flow. You could, you could always just choose to stay in your little comfort zone here. But the energy is changing to rise you up in some way. The healer card could even be, you know, maybe you heal, you know. You realize your strength and you realize how unstoppable you are. But don't let these past pains, these traumas hinder you. Don't let them... I Don't let them identify you what is, <laughs> is that the word don't let them don't make your identity about the these things you know does that make sense i know there's a phrase for that what what am i saying <laughs> i tell you whenever i start channeling it's like my my brain t turns to mush and the words just flow out okay but um yeah you are rising above this and releasing your true power, that's something I keep getting. And it's all just, it's really in your hands whether you're allowing this to happen or not, with whether you're going to go with the flow. Okay? So, sorry about that, Pisces. I, I ran out of room on my camera. I had to fix that, so here I am. I was pretty much over with, uh, or done with this uh, reading anyway. Uh, but yeah, it's such a, a contrasting energy going from one thing to another there's definitely an ending happening so that you can have this beautiful new beginning and you know it might be a little scary these new things coming up but don't hold back push past your boundaries like i said it's such a, a a contrasting energy you're going from like this you know maybe not doing so great you know it makes me think of this ten of wands it's all gray and gloomy to this amazing growth this new beginning this this potential to like sh let your light shine and you know change the world in your own little unique way or a big way <laughs> you know either way it doesn't matter not a competition it's your purpose it's amazing and it's beautiful and it's coming in you're going to realize what it is and 
Yeah, such a contrasting energy. Like I said, I, I'm sorry to repeat myself, but I just have to emphasize it. It's like going from the dark into the light. And you're the light. That's the most amazing part of this, is that you are the light. Maybe you realizing the light that you have. How amazing you are. And the healing power of that. And the unstoppableness of that. <laughs> okay. So... Anyway, I'm going to stop rambling now. <laughs> but uh, Pisces, if this resonated or if you just enjoyed the reading, leave some banana emojis in the comments below that I can subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.